Choosing what coilovers are right for your ride can be a very daunting task full of long and scary words like digressive pistons and inverted shocks and twin tubes and monotubes and compression damping. And for the love of all things Fast and Furious, what in the hell do Swift spring upgrades do? Well, after this video, you guys are going to be friggin' experts because right now I'm going to teach you everything that I know about coilovers, how they work, and more importantly, the differences between an entry level model all the way up to race tier products with these four BC racing coilovers right in front of me. So grab yourself a set of coilover wrenches and prepare to be shocked. Real quick though, if you guys could do me the world's biggest favor and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already, I would really, 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 really super appreciate it. My name is Sean. You can follow me on Instagram at SeanB.fi and you can check out these coilovers and so much more over at fitmentindustries.com, including how you can win a full set of Kanze wheels. All right. I'm done. Let's get into this first one. First up is the BC Racing BR Series Coilover. This is going to be our street oriented racing capable coilover setup. This is actually one of our most popular selling on fitmentindustries.com as well. First off, we're going to have a monotube shock design right here, and then we're actually going to have an adjustable body so that you're not messing with your spring preload and your shock travel length and stuff like that. But Maybe my favorite part about this entry level coilover is we have adjustable damping and rebound compression adjustment here. You're gonna get 30 clicks left and right. You can make this thing as soft as you want or as hard as you want for you know whatever you're doing, whether that's mostly street, or going to the track a little bit. Uh, this thing's gonna have a one year warranty, which is also pretty cool for a coilover setup. You're also gonna get Camber caster plates right here. So that's also pretty cool. These start under $1,000 for most applications. And this is what I recommend to almost anybody when they're looking for a suspension setup where they're not gonna be tracking it all the time. Maybe they're doing some autocross events throughout the year. So with that being said, let's move on to the next coilover. Now, this one is the BC Racing DS series coilover. This is gonna be your more entry level coilover, but entry level for your road course uses. This is still gonna be a monotube shock design, but you're gonna have digressive piston damping curves here. And basically what that means is during low speed impacts, you're gonna have a stiffer setup. So if you're going down the street at the racetrack, you go to slam on the brakes, this thing's gonna actually stay stiffened up. You're gonna get less body roll, but over the high speed stuff like bumps or curbs on the racetrack or anything like that. It's going to be softer. It's going to be a little more compliant. It's a really cool technology. Also, the difference between this and the BR, as far as looking at it, is you're going to have this kind of satin silver threading here versus the black painted here. You're still going to have that height adjustability by the body and you're going to get those same clicks of simultaneous compression and rebound adjustment, the camber plate, the one year warranty, all those things. So this one is a lot like the BR that we have here, but you have that digressive damping curve, which is a huge upgrade for the more ultimate compliance on the track. Let's check out the next one. Now, right here, we're going to be taking a look at something a little bit more serious. This is the BC Racing ER Series Coilover, and this bad boy is going to be for that extended track use. So just like everything else, we got the camber plates, we got the adjustable body, and we do have a Swift Spring option here, which it is an option on the other ones. I did forget to mention that. And what the Swift Spring is, is this little guy right here. It's an upgrade. What it's going to do is you're going to retain those same spring rates, but it's going to act a little bit softer. It's not going to sag over time. It's really worth it for those guys that want like a more compliant ride without giving up the performance. It really is worth it. You are also going to get custom valving to match your custom spring rates on all these. But what makes this one itself special is this little external reservoir right here, because what that means is this thing has twin pistons in it. So you're going to have that damping adjustment right here, independently of the compression damping right here, which is really, really cool. The external reservoir is also gonna help with heat dissipation under extreme conditions too. So those are some added bonuses, especially if you are tracking these coilovers, these are gonna, these are gonna handle a really, really aggressive track day all day long. So for this guy, you are gonna have a ton of those added bonus points that are gonna be tools to help you be more consistent at the track. It's really awesome stuff. And I'm super excited to show you guys the next one. So let's get into this bad boy. Now this bad boy right here, this is the BC Racing HM Series Coilover. And this is gonna be for you guys looking to take things to the next level for your serious driving enthusiasts. Swift springs are standard on this bad boy. You're still gonna get that height adjustment via the body. You're gonna get the caster camber plates. Uh, with the caster camber plates on this guy, if your application doesn't allow the caster camber plates, you're gonna get some pillow ball bearings. The external reservoir is here so you can control that 30 clicks of compression and rebound damping independently, just like the last one. It's also gonna help with heat dissipation as well. You got this nice cable. You can relocate it somewhere where this guy is fixed. But the coolest thing here is the inverted shock. Let me see what a good example is here. Let's grab the BR. 
you have a shock, right? You got the bottom of the shock, it's thick, it's got a bunch of fluid in it, and then you kind of have the piston and the shaft here. But this one is upside down. You actually have the shaft in here, and this is the bottom where all the fluid is. That's why the compression is gonna be done from the reservoir and the damping is actually gonna be done from the bottom, which a lot of people say they really like it on the bottom. It's easy to adjust all the things on the car. But what that does by flipping the shock upside down is it's gonna help with sprung weight. So with the fluid being on the top and then this mounts to your car, you're actually losing a bunch of weight on the bottom in your suspension. So your suspension is gonna work a lot more efficiently. It's what it's gonna allow you guys to do is it's gonna act just like you put a lightweight wheel on your car. These things are really, really sick and really kind of used as a racing application for the most part. So essentially what I'm getting at here is BC Racing offers something for everybody. You know, your entry level enthusiast for under a thousand dollars can get into a BR series coilover. You get the adjustable damping and everything like that all the way up to something super race tier. And I've used BC Racing coilovers in the past and I love them. And these things have proven performance by people like Vaughn Gittin Jr. and Adam LZ. They drift with a combination of these HRs and some ZRs. It's really crazy stuff. They're really successful in motorsport. So after going through all of these coilovers, which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below we have all these coilovers you see here and a whole lot more. So if you're ready to step up your suspension game, come see the experts over at FitmanIndustries.com. I'm Sean from Industries. Sean B to FI on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you later. Peace. I'm keeping this. I'm keeping this one.